Hey guys, welcome to this morning's Coffee Talk. <laughs> Burner Brother Antiques, we're here. Here it is. It's Coffee Talk. Well, today's Monday morning. <laughs> Monday morning. These guys have been camping all weekend. Did you, you enjoy camping? I loved it. Oh, yeah. I went down camped Saturday night and last night. I actually got up this morning, got ready, took my son to school. And yeah, we stayed in the camper last night, him and I did. So it was fun. It was a good time. Devin, he wants to stay there all week, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. He's like, we're staying all week. Jimmy's, <laughs> Jimmy's got a big camp out coming out. Yeah. Coming up. And we're, we're down there a little early. Got my own Halloween party, Halloween down party down Saturday. We pulled your camper around, too. Yeah. We, dumped, we pulled mine down there. Yeah, Josh's right got like beside a, me. We got like an old semi-circle like we're circling the wagons yeah <laughs> that's cool yeah. did you guys get behind the building or you know, no, we're off to the side off to the side okay side. yeah now, jimmy's got a pretty cool camping ground uh space and every year in uh, october you have yep. a big old camp out down there yep. right yep the october uh party is uh is, yeah we came a weekend early didn't come, we? yeah come so we're getting early. started stay all week <laughs> uh so we're going to run through some questions from our last uh, our last seven days here so whatever every every uh, monday we try and answer questions from the past week uh, and then also just kind of share information, insights, or whatever, uh, whatever's on our minds about whatever, really. We don't know. Uh, but here's a question. Um, this is referring to Oktoberfest, Josh. Maybe you should take okay. this one. Is this going to be an annual event uh, the same weekend next year, question mark, and beyond, question mark? Tentatively, yes. We want to do this. I think it's something that can grow and be a lot of fun. So I, I had a blast. I know there's... Little hiccups here and there that you got to work through, but I think that's with any new event. So yeah. um, I would really like to do it again next year. I think that our dealers felt the same way. So they, the ones that participated really had a good time, and they sold some stuff. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was fun. Well, you sold a lot of stuff. I sold a lot of stuff. And, and everyone I talked to, they sold a lot of things. I really did. And they had a chance to intermingle and... Um, it was a lighthearted atmosphere. I know we've said it, but it was just a. Yeah, it was it just was fun. fun. Like it was probably was a fun, a fun day. Yeah, everybody was there to have so, fun. So, Josh, let's talk about another thing then for just a second. You, you we're talking about doing something. Um, it's not set in stone yet, but we're kicking around an idea to do something in April or May or something. What are you thinking? Uh, well, we what's were our, where's our about, idea at so far? We were talking about doing something for the Kentucky Derby. Um, doing like a hat day, but also incorporating. Um, either like a dealer day or something like that at the heart. So it's still, like I said, we're a uh, kitchen table talking it right now. <laughs> yeah. So, but it, 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 that would be fun. Yeah, I'm something. To get everybody something involved. Kind of, tell just us a spring kickoff type thing. Tell us your us. opinion, guys. If you think uh, Kentucky Derby uh, Big Hat Day at the heart of Ohio, wouldn't we have? It would be inside. We would. Yeah, set we'd it probably set it up more of inside. Um, invite our dealers to be in their booths. And then in the information booth would be our, uh, yeah. our well, what do they call those drinks they have on the derby? Mint juleps. Mint juleps. Yeah, juleps. They do mint juleps. Mint juleps, juleps is what we were thinking about. We would do something the, like that. Or, yeah, and then we'd have, well, we'd have the TV there would have the, the prelim races on all yep. day. Uh, that would be fun. I think it would be a good time. That's, uh, that's the idea we're kicking around. Uh, give us your feedback on that one. Uh, here's another question. What's the, what's the young lady in the kitchen? What's with, oh, what's with Olivia? <laughs> she likes to mess with us. She loves yeah, to mess yeah. with us. So we mess with her. She, she always, uh, she always gives Josh like a pinky touch. Well, yeah. Instead guess? of giving a high five, she'll go and put your finger up like this, Julie. She'll go. Ding. <laughs> and then with me, she's, she won't smile. She's like, I'm not oh, yeah. smiling for the camera. I'm never going to smile for the camera. So I always try and get her to smile on the camera. So. It's just a lot of fun. Uh, we're having, we, have, we you know, we try and we try and make light of everything. Um, no, uh, Silka, this one's for you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the question is uh, Noah and Hala's candle company. What is the name of it? It's Burn Glow Creations. Where can they find it? Cool. Burn Glow. Burn Glow. B E R N. They do have an Etsy store, but at the heart. To the heart. Yeah, the there. building <laughs> six at the heart of Ohio. They got a brand new. <laughs> Yeah, Burn glow. Shelf, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty Can't cool call it booth or showcase, but it's a shelf. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice little display. It is. I like that. Burn and glow. Burn glow. Burn glow. Burn glow. All right, there you go. Burn On Etsy, I think they have a shop, creations. right? Yeah. On Etsy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so here's another question for you guys. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> what is the the deal with these uh, crazy uh, ads on uh, on our episodes? We can't control what ads are played. Yeah, we don't know what's played yeah. until we watch it. And it's probably different depending on yeah, what you're, uh, uh, who you are. 
I think YouTube places all that. Yeah, so just... all the algorithms will, like, a, in, even, like, if we all three watch the same video, we'll probably all get different ads. Different ads. It's, yes. it's based on what we watch and our likes and our, you know, the AI algorithms. So we don't control any of that. And uh, so if we get something there, if you get something that uh, we need to apologize for, I apologize. <laughs> yeah, we get, some, I've watched it before and had some, some crazy ads on mine. I'm like, what? What is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> but it's okay. I mean, yeah, it's all... AI and algorithms and whoever puts all that on. So Jimmy, they want to know if you can yodel. Yodel, yodel. <clears throat> Y'all have to work on that. Yeah, I can yodel. I think we'll have to get a yodel someday. We we'll have to get a we'll have to get a yodel going. You have to have, a, I have like no an acoustic doubt background when you yodel, so it, it really kind of gets the good echo. gets the good echo going. Yeah. Oh yeah, we could do that. Oh, we have a. We got a couple good places we could yodel, Josh. Yodel contest. Yodel Sounds contest like coming up. Ready. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm ready to listen to Jimmy. Ready to listen to Jimmy. Oh, yodel. Yodel. <laughs> uh, somebody was asking about the Baccarat vase uh, at 11 11 on one of our days. I don't remember the vase at this point. I'd have to rewatch it, so I apologize. Um, didn't look into that before we started here. Um, the Art Deco ceramic bust, how much is the bust? If you guys are ever interested in an item that we show on one of the videos and you're trying to figure out price, the best thing to do is email the Heart of Ohio Antique Center. Um, literally, uh, it, it's still hard to find. So we had someone that had emailed something. They were there at the Antique Center. They were like, hey, I got this thing in building one I'd like to, I'd like to purchase. Well, you know, there's 122,000 square foot uh, and they described something. And so our staff had this image in their mind of what they're looking for. They couldn't find it. Um, person drove back in and picked it up and was like, it was right there where I said it was, but there, was, there wasn't a picture of it. And they, 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 so the description was different. And so really difficult. If you do see something on a video, if you mark down where, what video, and the, the second that it's playing, or, uh, screenshot or screenshot, was, that'd be great. That'd screenshot, yeah. You just get, but if you can do where, like as much information about something you can and then email or call the antique center, um, that, that'll help out a lot. But a screenshot picture will just let us know a lot. Yeah, how to find it. Um, well, Chris, we want to do that. We want to find things for you if we can do that. Absolutely do. Oh, this was the uh, the, the video we did, uh, the 30 years in the making. Someone was asking if the pug has a home. Yep, the pug has a home and is not for sale. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, who were the ladies with Kate? I watched Taco Tuesday, what not show. Thought it was fun. Uh, you have to do that again. Thank you. Man, I, I, you know, I got such a bad memory. I don't even know which, which, uh, the ladies with Kate, where, where were we at when we filmed Kate with some ladies? Was that with pancakes? They're uh, YouTube sellers. Is that the lady, the ladies from Oklahoma and California? Um, they're friends. If those are the right ones I'm thinking of, there's friends that, that, uh, that, that follow, uh, that sell or whatnot. And then they, they came out to the Oktoberfest, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, and they were, uh, they were just hanging out with Kate and buying stuff and, uh, Yeah. So, uh, watch that back. I think, I yeah. think if you watch that video back, I think we talk about, they introduce themselves at some point. Um, matter of fact, that give their YouTube, YouTube, uh, descriptions on how to find them as well. Yeah. Cause there was a lot going on. A I'm lot going you, on. It's hard to remember everything in the last two weeks. It's been like a whirlwind. I told him. It really said, has. I said, I'm not going into the heart. I was like, I'm not going into the heart today. And then I sat there and thought. I gotta go into the heart today. <laughs> yeah. It's been so many days in a row. Because it's been, yeah, and it's been busy, and we've had so many things going on, and you know, it's like that big event. It was kind of like, I mean, like after, like an after Christmas, like, like January third. <laughs> you're like, oh, you're sitting like, there. In the, what, what what just happened? The whirlwind. I mean, in the whirlwind of everything. The, the, November through January just went by. And we had it happen in about two weeks. <laughs> so we got to re prepare to get ready to go again. Um, here's a question about copyright strikes. Uh, do you ever get copyright strikes because your music is too loud on a video? We did last week. That's I actually, uh, we did it. Yeah. <laughs> we, just did. I, we just did it. Janet, Janet actually was doing some filming and, um, I, I think she wasn't talking enough. And so it made the music seem louder than it was. I think that's what happened. Anyways, we had to come and cut all of her video out. Yeah. Um, that's the one that got posted because they delayed it. Was late. It. It was, yeah, it was yeah. late, but I didn't yeah, get Yeah, I felt bad. Janet got her. Yeah, Janet filmed for uh, quite a while, and then uh, we had to cut her part she out. She got axed. She got axed. <laughs> YouTube said no, no. Uh, so, oh well, we'll she's going to do some more filming this week, hopefully. Uh, so, in, 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 as far as that goes, Jacob, I've created some songs of our own that I'll sing um, for, for people later on. For people later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, Jimmy, this one's for you. Do you the information booth? Or? Oh yeah, the okay. information booth. Do you own all of the costumes you wear? Yes. 
Yes, he does. I haven't worn one yet that I don't own. Well, <laughs> we've got this no Friday. Fun. What are you going? Well, you can't tell, can you? It's going to be your Halloween costume. Yeah, right? this Friday. This Friday will be my Halloween costume that I'm going to wear to my own Halloween party. Oh, so, oh man, this is going to be interesting, <laughs> guys. I'm telling good. you right now. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, where's Waldo, and has he appeared on a whatnot auction yet? Waldo. No. We haven't. We haven't had a Where's Waldo, have we? We haven't. We haven't had a Waldo. We haven't had a Waldo. We've had a big boy. We've, we've had a, we've had a dope, dope boy. boy. <laughs> we've had a dope boy. <laughs> <laughs> we just, we just, big boy, dope boy hooked up. They're, they're <laughs> having a good time. They're, they're both up they're there. They're both up there at the, yeah. So they showed up at the last uh, whatnot sale. Or, yeah. There's double. They're double. Yeah, double. They're running Mission them. Impossible. They both came down from the ceiling. Yeah. Uh, Drop it, dead on us. Is Liza? <laughs> here's the next question: Is Liza a relative? So if you don't, if you're not familiar with Liza, Liza works for us at the auction gallery. She's actually worked at the Heart of Ohio for several years. Uh, she just graduated high school last year, um, and currently she she is going to uh, further her education. But she's working for us as she's doing it. She's taking online classes, um, and so she yeah she's been an employee now for Brunner's Auction for a few months. She's uh, really getting getting into the uh, you know the business pretty good understanding how to do the things we do and uh, growing really fast as well in, in, the, in what she's doing. So, it, well, it, it's so she's a good worker. Speaking of being hard worker. Um, Jacob, you had a big event this weekend. Yeah. I did. Well, the Silka did. Well, uh, you say so. <laughs> you when say I talked so. to you yesterday, you said, I got to go. I got to finish getting um, yelled at. Yeah. <laughs> That's, what <I> <laughs> That's what he said, too. He's like, I got to be busy getting him in. Come over here. Come over here. I want you to tell us what it is. This leads into a whole other story, too. It does. So we had a baby shower for Kaylin, and Jacob's shop job was to be there right after church. To, to be there. That's all I had to do. bring a few extra chairs. Mm. And he took my car, which we only have one key for. And he took it, and then he called me right as all the final preparations were happening and everything was starting to go a little crazy, and said, hey, I... I'm at church and locked your one key that you have into the car. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, you didn't tell me any of this. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's from her perspective. That was his contribution. Uh -huh. So first off, let's back up. I wanted to take my car, and she's like, we need your car. We're using it. No, that was Noah. Okay. We're using it because we're setting up. We need right. to haul stuff. So she gave me her car. Now, now her car is has got, uh, you know, you don't have to actually use the key or anything. It's an right. electronic fob. You get close to the door, you just push the and button. And it usually up. doesn't even let you lock the car, the key in there because so, it tell you. So I go, I go to church and I got her I big hunk of keys. And I'm like, I, don't, I can't put that in my pocket. So I put it in my, my bag yeah. and I carry my, my books and stuff. Uh -huh. And so after church, I come out and uh, the car opens right up. So I toss the bag in the back, shut the back door and go to open the front and the car locks. <laughs> I said, well, I just put the bag. How does it lock? The, the if I were... didn't recognize your keys were in there because of all the books around it, your bag weighs like 100 pounds. That's a lot of reading. Yeah, had barrier seal on it. Oh, man. And, but, well, uh, how'd you get it open then? She, okay, so yeah, while another we were story. here, trying to get all the last minute charcuterie boards and all set up, um, I made Noah get on the app because I couldn't figure it out in my panic real quick. So I don't know why you probably could do this real fast. Go ahead and get on there. You can buy this extra thing on your phone um, to unlock your car remotely. Oh, okay. So he figured it out. But by that time, Jacob was already here. So he's like, okay, I can go pick it up now. I'm like, no, stay. You need to help. You're not leaving again. We can get the car later. You thought you had it planned out. Yeah. Didn't you? Oh, yeah. Well, he left again. <laughs> well, I had to go back and get the car. <laughs> hey, Josh. The funny thing is, uh, like Saturday morning, I got up, went over to a little yard sale, uh -huh. and then I bought some stuff, and I came back here, and I brought it in, and Sookie's got the tables on the chair, she's cleaning, she's vacuuming, she's getting stuff, and I'm bringing stuff in and putting it on the counter. And she's looking at Jake. you like, I'm going to choke you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I see her over here, and I was like, oh, boy, I'm in deep <laughs> trouble. Uh -huh. And I told her, I said, Sookie, I promise this stuff will only be here 10 minutes and it'll be out. It was, except for the frog Jacob tried to sneak in. I love that frog. I do too. That's I an kept, awesome I frog. kept the frog. Oh, so are you keeping it? He yeah. said you were keeping it. I put it in the yeah. office and I, I was going to put it on the concrete behind me, the stone behind me, and uh, Sookie like, rejected she it. She got a hammer out. What happened? She said, that is not staying there. So put it in your put office. in your room. I did. I got one room in the house I can put stuff in. So. But it I turned out really good. There. I mean, yeah, I I come up here and I finished. I was finished mine um, about four o'clock, and it was 
packed. I mean, there's a lot of people here. It looked like a really good time. It looked like she had a great turnout. Oh, yeah, it was really nice. Weather was perfect. Kalen's <laughs> We're all sitting out there. You know, I'm Kalen's <laughs> husband, Ethan, uh, he, he oh, came I late. Heard, I heard this too. <laughs> he came late. He wanted to stay incognito. And so he was behind all 50 ladies that were watching Kalen open up her stuff. And, and uh, he was sitting on one of our tables uh, that we put our drinks on. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, had a, he just got a cold beer and he sat down on the table and sat there and drank it. And then all of a sudden, Boom! The table collapsed, made the loudest noise you've, noise you've ever heard, and he rolled backwards so down the steps. He off the deck. He did! Onto the concrete. <laughs> Flipped, rolled right over, head over heels backwards, and, and uh, everybody in the whole place was like... And he, he, he didn't even want to know why he, he no, wanted to know what he was doing. Oh, I he was so embarrassed. He was, it was funny. I was sitting right beside him. I was like, oh my gosh! And next thing I knew, his feet was up in the air. You should have jumped up like you knocked him off the table. <laughs> I told you. Kayla <laughs> just randomly started laughing all night long last um, night and with tears running down her face. Oh my gosh. She couldn't quit laughing. It was oh, so funny. So cool. I was like hilarious. five minutes away from making it all the way through without anybody knowing. <laughs> okay, I'd like, I'd like to know how many children and ages each brother has. Oh, well, well, you do, I'll forget your guys. Like, I got I three mind. children. I've got twins that are 19 and then I've got a 15 year old. Well, I have four kids. Actually, I have one that just turned 30. We had his birthday party Saturday night. That was a surprise party. Yeah, it was, was a surprise. Fun. It turned out good. He it didn't turned out really found good. out either. Had no idea. Yeah, it was pretty cool. He walked in, everybody, I mean, yelled surprise. Yeah, but I have one who's 30, um, Gabe, and then I have two daughters that are Allison and Macy, and Allison's 26, and Macy's 22, or 23. Mm -hmm. so yeah, that's where I get in trouble. This is, so when you I get in trouble first. right here. I'm asking my wife. Macy's 22, 22, and then Braden's 21. He just turned 21, um, and he's the youngest son. So I have bookends. Boys are the oldest and youngest, and two girls in the middle. Uh, Silka? <laughs> okay, Jacob, come on. Are you the best one? like us. Come on. She was there. there. At least she didn't ask me like on my, on my, my wife's anniversary or her birthday. No, no right? Like that. Don't ask the hard questions. Those are the hard ones. Okay, I'll never so, put that on film. So uh, 19, Lucas is 19. He'll be 20 in December. Uh, Kaylin is 22. 22. 22. And uh, she'll be, uh, yeah, she'll be 23. And then Luke Noah is... <laughs> 25? He's 25, yes. Is that right? I got him all right. Yes, you did. Yes! Oh, that was like the multiple choice on a test. Uh, yeah, that yeah. was a true false. I know, kept looking at Sophie. 25? She's true. won't give him Oh, yeah, yeah. She's like shaking her head. I'm That's like, correct. Gosh. She's got cute cards. 25. <laughs> 21. When you Jason, get in their 20s, Jason has... it gets more difficult to keep track of the ages. It is. That's the, when the I started to forget my own yeah. age, too. Uh -huh. Heck, I don't hardly remember my own age. We Actually, we celebrated the same year like two times or three times in a row. Huh. Okay, I still want to know uh, what you use to clean your items. Not much. We very we rarely clean sell anything. the dust right along with it. <laughs> um, if you're referring to furniture, we use products called uh, Howard's. Um, I'll try and film that. We sell it there at the Antique Center. I'll try and do some filming on that. Uh, if you're referring about uh, glassware, pottery, porcelains, and stuff, just a Windex or basic water yeah. stuff and wipe it down. You want you don't want to use stuff that'll like take abrasive, type yeah, stuff. abrasive, or if you have paintings on stuff that we've got take a glass painting cleaner off. that we utilize a lot. Yeah, that we get through the antique center. You want to make sure that you don't damage something that may have paint on it or just a different kind of yeah, nothing abrasive. They want to know if you would show a close up of that table over there, Silka. What table? Can you just turn that, grab that camera and go film this that leg real quick? Yeah. Oh, well, don't bring the table over here. That's not going to work. Yeah. You're not bringing that table over here. <laughs> All right, here he goes. Here's We're live. We're, We're turning. We're turning. There's the table. That table right there. Uh, okay, that was a fast close up, and we're back. <laughs> that was a stone top table. It was a stone top table. A little just got dizzy. Right there. There I got dizzy just watching that. Uh, okay, that was a stone top table. That actually is a, the stone on that was supposedly, the, the stone was from a palace in China. And then the base was made for the stone to hold it. But the, that stone is from the floor um, of a palace floor. So we, we, my friend actually got that in China um, when he was bringing containers back from China. You got one like that. I do. It's actually about twice that long. And it took a ton of us to take it up where we put it upstairs. It was so heavy. They are heavy. Yeah, they're heavy. But they're cool. 
They're, they're really neat, but they're, they're heavy. Hey, a question here, Jimmy. Who's going to win the Battle of Ohio tomorrow, which was yesterday? Bengals. <laughs> they won. They won again. I get to wear my stuff for another they week. They did. They beat the Browns. And then the Browns quarterback got hurt. Yeah, yeah. I hate to see people get hurt when they play. But, uh, yeah, that was a, they showed the replay of that. Like, was you it couldn't figure game? out how he got hurt. And then when they showed the replay, you could see his Achilles. Mm. Was, it his, oh. yeah, so. but, was it a close game? Uh, no, not really. So the Bengals are kind of I mean, catching on fire. Kind of with this well, striking it, it distance, was, but, but it wasn't. It wasn't yeah. The Bengals had struggled early. The, the first half um, the first wasn't. The kickoff was the, impressive. The, the kickoff was awesome. They ran the kickoff back for a touchdown. Then it stayed that way for a long time. <laughs> Okay, when will the linens be on whatnot? Uh, I'm assuming that's the linens we have on the shelf that we, we had right behind us. Um, uh, sometime. <laughs> I don't really know. But if you're not following our pop-up uh, whatnot sales, then make sure you follow. Then you won't miss it. Uh, I don't know when they will sell. Literally, we'll just pull them one day and have a whatnot sale. Um, just so whoever's following us will get an opportunity to bid on the linens. Now, that's something that people get too, and I like it. I do like it because Jacob will have these pop up whatnot sales, and we're liable to sell anything. And then there'll be some great stuff selling, and they're like, Why don't you save that for a premiere show or something else? And I'm like, Jacob's like, No. He goes, If you're watching now, you're going to get a chance to have a goodbye. And it, it happens. Sky. Nobody can hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Papaw. <laughs> you guys can imagine our dog. That's with Papaw coming. I, she barks at me if I walk out and come back in. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Short term memory loss. I'm, it's kind of like me. <laughs> um, you need to make some whatnot preview shorts featuring YouTube highlighted items. Yeah, you know, I, I, we do. I would love to have a bunch of shorts. Our problem is I just don't have time to do it. Um, I think we could, we have the content to do it. I mean, I don't know, maybe we'll figure out someone else that can make some shorts. That's the last question, but Pat Ball just walked in the door, so... Uh, you make any questions for me? <laughs> well, there are none, none written down from last week. Uh, yeah, so what else is going on this week? We got uh, tonight, well, tonight's sale will be over. No, uh, this will show at 4, so at 7 p.m. tonight, Lucas, Lucas and I have a whatnot show. Um, it's premium picks on whatnot. Uh, <laughs> Pat Ball's in the room. He's cracking them open already. <laughs> uh, uh, we'll have a couple of pop-ups Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday during the day. Uh, Thursday, Burners.com. That's the big lamp deal and stuff from Illinois. Uh, it's a big auction. Make sure you preview it. There's a lot of good stuff. Burners.com, right? Yeah, Burners.com auction. It's a thousand lots, and it's got all the Navajo jewelry. Uh, and, and that's all this. If you guys remember, we did a video about a, uh, six months ago where yeah. we bought the house and then like 100, 100 lamps. Well, the, uh, the owner of that, uh, his sister lived in Illinois and he had, had given her a lot of lamps and a lot of art glass and, and Navajo jewelry and stuff. And so uh, that's the rest of this collection that we are selling on Thursday. You're not going to want to miss that. Burners.com on Thursday. Yeah, it's kind of cool because it's like it's a continuation stuff. of that. Yeah. Of, the bride's of, baskets, yeah. pickle casters. Oh. There's so many neat items in yeah. there. So hey, there's a couple things in there that I really you. like. Yeah. So another question <laughs> we did lamps, have, yeah. though, Jimmy, and I did, I forgot to ask it, was uh, they want to know if uh, Taco Tuesday night sponsored margarita Goodwill whatnot show is going to happen again. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> yes. I, I, we enjoyed the heck out of that. I that mean, was fun. Wasn't it was it? kind of spontaneous. I don't know if it'll happen again. Or... <laughs> it might. We don't know. It Stay could, tuned, though. If you're but, following yeah. us on whatnot, you'll, yeah. get a, you'll get a notice. Oh yeah, you'll get a notice. And then, <laughs> and you you might you'll never you might want to just tune in because you never know what's going to happen. We could go to that one. We could make it a, a a road trip too. I could take them to another one of my Goodwills or a thrift store that I go to. Jimmy's got secret stashes. I don't know. He's letting us in. I'm not sure what's going to happen on there. Oh, no, it's fun. So, anyways, yeah. So make sure you're you're watching our pop up our whatnot subscription, uh, getting all of those notifications. And obviously, if you're watching this video, you're already watching our YouTube videos, but make sure you tell your friends. We, we would appreciate uh, appreciate them. Come out and visit us at the Heart of Ohio Antique Center. It is America's largest antique center, 122,000 square foot, um, one mile under roof. So think about that. You can walk a mile under roof and see something different the entire mile. Uh, plus, we have the outside areas that we've, we've added on, so lots more space. Uh, it's just an exciting place, and uh, give us your feedback on this uh Kentucky Derby idea. We'd yeah. love to hear hear back see, from you and see if yeah. you guys like that idea. Uh, and come out and we'll see keep, us soon. We'll keep fine-tuning that. I, I do think it would be fun to do some sort of a dealer day to where the dealers are invited like, to be in their booths. We're talking about having our dealers that have, uh, we have 700 dealers with booths and showcases that to have a day where they can come and like literally work their booth or showcase, work out special rates and, and prices. 
So it wouldn't be a standard discount. It would be like a negotiated discount only. Um, kind of like the Oktoberfest. Kind of like Oktoberfest. We had the pink yeah. slips that you yep. wrote. Just if we worked a deal out and you wrote the final price on it, and that's what it was. Yeah, it was kind of cool. It, it was really that was it was neat. That was a neat idea. I mean, I'm not sure who brainstormed that and got it figured out. Um, Josh, that was a great idea you had. Oh, thank you, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there it is, guys. Don't forget like, subscribe, comment, burn a brother antiques. We appreciate y'all. Love you and uh, blessings, everybody out there. We'll see you soon.